Welcome back to the Torque Test Channel. We're only two episodes now into our ratchet testing series, and Rigid must have heard that because out this week is the new Rigid R866011, their first ever cordless ratchet. Following in the footsteps in short succession to DeWalt's new and first ever ratchet as well that we just tested, their 12 volt with some very similar specs. But this new Rigid is a full 18 volts, the first sort of full size battery platform ratchet on our channel. And at $179, you'll notice that. Because of that, and because we felt we should rope in another 18 volt ratchet sold at the old Home Depot, and also made by the same outfit, TTI, here is the Ryobi HP. The only brushless HP ratchet from Ryobi is this, their extended length, which at $159, they're not exactly penalizing you for, but compared to the standard length attempt from Rigid, it's almost not looking so extended length anymore. That's due to this battery positioning. Like DeWalt's new model, this one hangs off the end in an inline flat orientation, yet unlike the small and short 12 volt DeWalt pack, Rigid's batteries are, well, not those things and therefore take up quite a bit more of the footprint despite its standard length access. We're using three amp hour 21700 cell batteries here on both, but we can take a look at other size batteries later on. The Ryobi's RPM range is up to 230, and this new Rigid is 250, yet they both advertise 55 foot-pounds. The Ryobi's party trick is a four-position locking head, which somewhat makes up for this sort of awkward battery sticking off the end, though probably usually out of the way given its reach. So today we're going to compare these two up against the DeWalt, as well as the best we've found from Milwaukee to see where they both, and particularly the new Rigid, fall in this ratchet category. And we already have enough data to score our first part here, so let's stop by the ranking chart. As tested, the Ryobi is heavier because it's longer, no surprise there, but they don't offer a shorter one, so its weight is an unavoidable 43 points. The Rigid is also heavy due to the battery type being 18 volts and gets 39 points, quite high as well. Remember, you don't want points on our ratchet ranking, lowest is best. The rigid and old existing HP Ryobi have the same exact ratchet head, same dimensions, which are good dimensions, being pretty much the same torque rating as the DeWalt, they are definitely able to get by with a smaller head, that's good. TTI making both of these brands, it must have been one of those, if it ain't broken, why spend money to redesign it, sort of thing. 29 points for each. Despite sharing parts, the Ryobi costs less, all while being a usually more costly extended configuration. 32 and 36 points. Our first test will be the ratchet gauntlet. Then we'll do torque testing and finally just try to break these by hand. Our ratchet gauntlet is an attempt to test these tools under load. Like the kind of load somewhat rusty or imperfect threads would bring to a ratchet, but in a repeatable way. Using nylon locking nuts, which range by fastener size from about three to four foot pounds of resistance throughout the length of the bolt to around 15 foot pounds of force the entire run on a half inch thread or three quarter inch nut sizes. This of course is imperfect, but a repeatable and consistent way to see if the advertised RPM is just a high score or something useful for you. For example, here's an M12 high speed on a regular nut. And here it is on a locking nut. Now here's the M12 high speed between two bolts with just some thread quality difference. The 450 RPM of the Milwaukee becomes not so 450 RPM real quick, but higher torque ratchets slow down less. More on that in a little bit. Let's get into the new Rigid versus the Ryobi HP. Rigid is on top. So the Rigid on top gets off to an early head start. That 250 RPM versus 230 seems to account for that especially on small stuff that has little resistance. Despite the overall length of the Rigid being sort of long, close to the Ryobi in fact, you can see on the Rigid that it meets that step up into its body size quite early on the length of the tool, 
meaning you're not really gaining a ton of access with this longer than usual length, unless you have plenty of space to work around it. The body itself is also about 10% larger in diameter than the Ryobi as well, so that highlights this reality. So despite moving out two bolts in front of the Ryobi at times, the Ryobi makes up that time later in this test and claws that back down to one by in most cases loosening nuts with just one trigger pull. The rigid kneading hand torque helped the last three 45 to 55 foot pound torqued nuts, the Ryobi only needing to do so on the last one. Even so, the rigid completes this test in two minutes and nine seconds while the Ryobi is one bolt behind needing two minutes and 17 seconds which puts the rigid barely out in front to take on the DeWalt, which with the same 250 RPM rating and 60 foot pounds versus the 55 of the rigid should be a pretty even match. And yeah, it is. The rigid is basically a TTI answer to the DeWalt. They perform very similarly. Heck, a rerun of the same tool is likely to yield similar results as these two. The DeWalt finishes three seconds in front of the rigid though. Here's what that looks like in the points. 137 seconds for the Ryobi, still much quicker than the 190 of the first generation fuel M12 ratchet, but a little slower than the 129 seconds of the Rigid. But it is not all about speed, torque does play a role, a smaller role than usual on this channel, but an important one nonetheless. Case in point, we've been using the M12 high speed, our top ranked one, a lot around here, and it has its shortcomings. Check this out on a battery that's teetering around two bars full. A new half-inch nylon lock nut is just too much for it. And a two amp hour battery at three bars? Also not gonna happen. But just a 1.5 amp hour battery at two bars is still not a problem for the higher torque M12. So it's a bit of a balancing act really. As soon as a high speed ratchet isn't powerful enough, it becomes the slowest cordless ratchet ever AKA because you're basically running it by hand. So let's just say our perfect cordless ratchet is probably still out there somewhere. Recommend some below. For the Ryobi and the Rigid though, let's see the beans. With a dyno calibrated for old fashioned pounds foot, here's the Ryobi HP. Oh well, yes, the most exciting dyno sessions in the world, these ratchets. So that's 59. Let's take another bite. And it saw as much as 65. When using this thing like a hand ratchet, as you might often need to, it's sort of a joy. Lots of leverage, obviously. Easy to grip. No flex, and it reached 281 foot-pounds. Trying our darndest to break it. On a 3 8 that's pretty crazy. The Rigid is next. Here's the Rigid with a 3 amp hour octane pack. So it sees 58 in the first, similar to Ryobi there, then 64, and it also reached as high as 65. With the 4 amp hour max output battery, they've been pushing to replace the 3 amp hour octane, it sees 62. Same deal, no real difference. Oh, and we later realized we gave the previous ratchets on this channel a second go at each torque run while tightened. So we got another four to seven foot pounds from these figures that we've shown, seen on the ranking shortly, still getting used to this new testing process. When run by hand, ratchet head durability is not really an issue on this rigid, as it sees as much as 225, but a lot of flex going on here. This battery joint location here, it inspires very little confidence. Of course, you're not supposed to work the tool from here, but the grip on this tool is effectively in the middle. On something that's not moving and you want it to, who's going to really be using a lever from the middle? It's just not natural. No damage done, but it feels questionable. Hard to score that though, so let's see what the rank chart does care about. Torque. With a second pull of the trigger, these were convinced up to 69 and 72 foot-pounds. Interesting that on a 55 foot-pound Ryobi, it makes as much as a 60 foot-pound rated DeWalt. We're talking pretty small potatoes here though. And we did see that Ryobi take off more lock nuts with just a trigger pull than any other ratchet yet. So this all totals 169 and 164, putting the rigid ahead due to that faster time from higher RPM under load. 
But with that body flex, overall weight and layout features compared to the Ryobi, we'd go with the Ryobi all day on stuff that's harder to assign points to, even if they were the same price. The Rigid costs the same as a DeWalt or a Milwaukee, for reasons we can only assume are because of 18 volt versus 12 volt, though I can't imagine what the advantages of being 18 volt really are here. Considering the M12 high speed is not exactly a jack of all trades in our experience after a few weeks of use, we're still looking for what might be the top, let's say 45 to 50 foot pound plus of real torque ratchet that might be out there. Till then it's DeWalt for us and a second ranking here that'll help us distinguish these things as our ranking list fills out with more and more models. We have top 20 to 40 foot pound model here, currently the M12 high speed, top 40 to 60 foot pound, which we don't have yet, then top 60 to 80 foot pound here, which is the DeWalt for now, and maybe a 80 plus section as well. Rigid looked to have come out with a new model that could match DeWalt 12 volt or their upcoming 20 volt. And if you already have Rigid batteries, sure, a ratchet introduction is welcome and this one will probably do the part, no doubt. But just from an opinion side, purely from our experience, they were not able to surpass the current Ryobi offering Home Depot already had on the shelves for less money. If that sort of battery orientation of the Ryobi is going to work for you. A miniature version of that orientation, like Stanley Black & Decker made for Mac tools, would have seemed like a winner to me, but what do I know? M12, until then, for compactness, hard to beat there. Appreciate you watching, suggest more ratchets you feel would do well for us to test below, and thanks for watching.